at the airport. And it's Beth. No, we're not at the airport. We're at the car place at Park on King where we dropped our car off. Got a new little waiting area over here. Nice one. It's better than the big palm trees. Oh yeah, they did have a nice one. But this is nice and they've got scales and I think it's nice. Yeah, they just have a nice palm tree thing here. You can weigh your luggage, you can have a seat. I will have a seat. I don't know why I'm pretty sleepy though. It was a bit a bit of an early start this morning. For me I'm still like, oh, I don't know what time it is. Seven-ish I think. So yeah, we got up about five, the alarm went off. Finished packing, had a quick shower, I dress, but yeah, I'm in a quite a bit of fibro pain. But still in the hopefully the phase of drugs taking effect. So I'm sure it'll be good. <laughs> sharp knives but like I didn't know they're in a, in a with all my containers I put some in the other luggage and I forgot about having to get my laptop out at the airport so it's like in the bag that's hard to get it out of oh so I've done a bad job I forgot to bring my lanyard that I could have used to get through quickly and because I'm in a lot of pain would have been really handy because I, again I didn't bring the bag that I usually have oh. I need to make sure I always have that other burgundy bag that goes with the suitcase on international travel. Any travel, I guess. Oh dear. Alright, I'm in search of some food. Hopefully that will make me feel a bit better. here to get our falafel roll wrap I would have called it a wrap they call it a roll so expensive $20 <laughs> but anyway that's the airport all food's expensive this is iron these things look nice yeah yep no sorry it's $19 <laughs> but they don't have much in Qantas Club I can eat you'll, you'll share, you can share my wrap or you can get some in Qantas Club I'll go and get some food yeah they look nice too
nice flight. I just read on the way. I think Kevin was watching Schindler's List. Nice happy movie. <laughs> now we're just going to go after we get out of the airport. Customs and whatnot. We're going to go get some groceries and then we have a 45 minute drive to our accommodation. We've got to go and get our rental car now. I got pulled up, not pulled up, but they found I had bath bombs in my suitcase. They thought it looked like fruit. <laughs> and then Kevin had something with his work stuff. So I think every stop we've had some issue today. But we're here. This one. So apparently we've got an upgrade to an SUV. Probably more compact. I think you would have called your book a compact or a small. Or? I don't know what I'm probably small. I know. Yeah. But they were all the cars were gone. So <laughs> lucky Kevin pre-booked. I'm just going to get our grocery bags out of my bag. So I'll do that before we go. Well, about two seconds later, we're pulling into the shopping centre. Literally, it's kind of like the airport must be like virtually behind the, the thing. Yeah, I'm not Kevin's having trouble adjusting to this car. You put your foot down and there's nothing, 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 then accelerates super fast. <laughs> and then when you want to go fast, you put your foot down and nothing happens. Oh. Countdown for oh. your worst report in the <laughs> Just stay just 
we have arrived. What's wrong? Freezer. There's no freezer. Little freezer. Kevin got a bit carried away. Oh, it's cute. Is this the doorway open up now? I think so. I don't know. It's smaller than I thought. It's hard to know from the doorways. bought ice cream. Oh, how nice is this? All Kevin's worried about is this blooming ice cream. We've got plums and apples right out the door. Or oh, plums. <laughs> nice big shower. Oh, no, I didn't tell you about that. Or is it a fake one? How do I know? So you've just realised there's no microwave. <laughs> we bought dinners to microwave, but hopefully we can cook them on there. There's wood outside. There's wood there. Yeah. That's wood. A big notebook there. Oh, well, I think it's nice and it's cute. How stunning is this place? It's so nice. I am very happy. <laughs> no TV. That's fine. I didn't notice that. We will watch stuff on my laptop anyway. Kevin's starting the fire, I think, and that's what you can hear behind me. It's fresh out here, but so nice. Very excited. <laughs> nice little quiet weekend. We'll probably be in. But I don't even leave the place tomorrow, I don't think. We'll probably maybe go out the next day on Friday. And Saturday we'll probably stay in as well, because there's not a lot to do around the area, but it was just to come and have a nice relax so yeah lovely there's apples here we've collected some off the ground but they've got holes in them so we'll just see what's, what they're like inside but there's other fruit and veg fruit we can go pick apparently they're going to come and pick the grapes over there i think it's that day it was going to be done today but they'd had some rain so they got put off and apparently there's something called Easter raspberries I've got to track down on the property tomorrow so we'll go for a walk around tomorrow sometime and have an explore but yes I'm very happy and I think Kevin's happy too even though he had to eat his, eat his ice cream already <laughs> oh dear and you know I'll just have to work out how we can heat it on the stove should be okay I'm sure we can manage and we've got soup tomorrow that's fine we will, we will manage. I just, most places have a microwave. I didn't even think to check about a microwave. That's okay. Very, very nice. It is fresh out here, but it's nice. Especially after the, all the humid weather that we've had. Oh, Kevin's got the fire going. <laughs> he does like his fires. <laughs> I could tell. I saw the smoke coming out the top. Oh, nice. <laughs> and we've got a big animal hmm. I don't think it's a real one, is it? it like a real I don't find it too bad because to me it doesn't look real. It's huge. Some of them look like real. The place was saying in Charleville's got animal skins on all the beds and I thought I'm taking my own bedding because I'm not going to sleep under one. Very cosy, isn't it, Kev? My little fire bug will be happy. I didn't tell him about the fireplace. <laughs> what is a secret? Oh, there's a tennis court there, Kevin. That's what all the rackets are for. Where are the rackets? Over there in the bus. Oh, the rackets. That's a flying room. We can go and play tennis. Someone played tennis. Oh, we can hear it at the moment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sticking. I don't know if I've got the energy to go muck around on the tennis court. <laughs> so the table here, we have some Lindor balls. And this, this is the winery that we're at. There's 
the bottle I assume of their wine. There's a few bottles. There's bottles in the fridge. I think you can buy some as well. I assume this is the one here. Yeah, this is a gift one. And the other. We're very passionate about wine. I hope you like too. <laughs> yeah, well, they're probably most people that come to stay at a winery are probably into wines. We just had a slim choice of where to stay because it's such a last minute booking. Well, we only booked it like two weeks ago or something. I don't know, two or three weeks ago. So there wasn't a lot of choices. All the other ones that I've got lots on Airbnb that I've sort of hearted, and every single one that I'd hearted, there's probably at least 20, they were all, out, they were all booked out. Because <laughs> we are over a weekend, I guess. So we had to look for something else. Close up before it gets dark. She said that? What bugs? Did she say that? Midges, I think she said. Oh, okay. Yeah, we don't want them. <laughs> I had been going to film me heading up the dinners on the stove, but <laughs> had a phone call and yeah, that didn't happen. So now I've dished it, <laughs> dished it out. So they turned out quite fine. They worked out alright, didn't it, Kev? Yeah. yeah. So we're going to have our dinner. Oh, I'm going to set my laptop up on the chair there and watch some YouTube. Same as at home. Or would you still have a nice view in a fireplace? <laughs> Very nice. doing some of this sourdough what San Francisco sourdough we don't get that particular bread type in Australia so we thought we'd try that because we did like sourdough and we had it in San Francisco we don't expect to do quite the same but I'm gonna have some of that for breakfast with um some I think it was margarine we could get, I couldn't get a vegan butter so it's margarine and jam Simple breakfast. I've been looking all morning for a bunny and I thought I'm never going to see one. I thought maybe they don't have bunnies here and I just saw a huge bunny just behind that ridge there. But he's gone now. I've got to be excited. Because I kept looking out of this field and it just felt like it should have a bunny in it. And there is a bunny. But he's gone now. We're never going to catch him. But we saw him. Kevin saw him too. So it wasn't just me seeing things. <laughs> Where is he? I'll zoom in and we'll see if we can find him. I can't see him with my eyes. Can you still see him or not? Oh, it's hard. It was a shadow. One of the shadows moved like a bunny. <laughs> he was big. Oh, yes, 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 okay. I got him then, it's just in the shadow line of that tree. But not bad to see him on the camera when I. Does he have a twitch in his mouth? I can't see him that well. But I did see him move like you said in the shadow. There we go, there's one bunny, there's two there actually. One's hiding. Oh, no. oh, I think they're friends, yes. Oh, at least we caught him on camera. Yes, it's the two of them. <laughs> After a very lazy morning, we're going to have some lunch. So I've got some soup. Kevin's got tomato soup. I've got a 
chickpea and something or rather soup. It's really nice, I've had it before. As you can tell, we are sitting outside with a nice view, because it's actually quite warm in the sun, and then after lunch we're gonna go for a walk. I mean, oh, this place is incredible. How gorgeous is it? So different to Queenstown with the big mountains and stuff, but just so beautiful. So New Zealand. <laughs> I didn't realise the main house is just behind there, but you can't see it. It's um, very well, or oh, you can just see the roof through that little gap there. You might not be able to see it, but it's, you know, it's grey. That's, I assume, their house. So you can barely see it. It's so private here. Not that they are here at the moment. They're in Auckland, apparently. And there's... So there's no one around besides some duckies over there. It's beautiful. It's very nice. All thawed up now. Uh, Kim was just flying the drone. You'll have already seen that footage, no doubt. Such, oh, I just can't get over what a magical spot this is. But I mean, I find most gingers to be magical. So, but this is a very, very special spot. It's so quiet, it's so peaceful. I think we've picked the perfect time. Like it's warm enough to sit out here in the sun. I think it's 14 degrees at the moment. So in the sun, it's really nice. I'm just wearing a light top. But it's um, warm in the sun. My head's actually feeling very hot. <laughs> but yet it's cool enough at night to have that fire on in this morning. So perfect. I thought it would be too warm to be using the fireplace. Based on our 30 degree days we're having at home. <laughs> when I sort of booked this. But it's a lot cooler over here. But it's just what a day. Look at that blue skies. Barely a cloud in the sky today. It's just... But I do like clouds. The blue sky is just stunning too. Turns out Mr. Drone is coming down to land. I'm going to head out on a little walk around the property now. I've got a bag for any for col fruit for collections that we make. It seems weird. We're just going to go and leave the gate, the door open. Even the front door doesn't lock here. Look, he said, does it lock us? It locks from the outside, not from the inside, so I don't think it matters. There's no one around. And it's like, a car. yeah, someone come to mow the lawn, I think, earlier. And like, there's going to be people coming to pick the, um, the grapes for the wine tomorrow, 
I think that's right on Saturday. But like at the moment, this is like no one around. At the night, there'll be no one around. And yeah, I don't think you're gonna attract any baddies out here to come through a gate and it's, well, you saw the drive in, it's pretty remote. All right, we're gonna head around that way to the house. Okay. Which way do you wanna go? I don't know. It's not a river. I can see. I don't know. This is the shorter way to go. <laughs> Um, purple flowers in the grass. You can see our little house looking back. Very cute. Oh, the house is nice, isn't it? How is that? Wow. Providing a sentinel over there. Oh. But I can't see the one on that building. Oh. Maybe it's behind the tree, that's why it's so crap. Oh, the grapes, there's the grapes too. But you need to sit, you need chairs and a knife to get up and get the grapes. How oh, cool! I'm always scared of grapes. Are you? Oh, well, if you pick them too early, they're horrible. Well, I don't know how to pick them. Well, try one. She said, well, she said to do it, so I guess I'm guessing the ones with the little green ones perhaps aren't ready, but if you get more of a bunch with. Well, there are green grapes on that side, perhaps. Yeah. Well, like these ones look pretty good. Nice, well, are you gonna get us some? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> you know, is it funny? Just in funny. Oh. Well, she said just to climb up on a chair. Want to eat one? Well, I want more than one. How often do we get to get a bunch of homegrown grapes? I bet you get those ones over there. Well, these ones have got little babies in them. Okay, it's like are... them separating babies and their mothers. Oh my gosh. There's some bigger ones up there, Kev, and bigger grapes. I can't let them picked over, so it's probably the the right ones. The birdies have had a go at them. Where's the scissors? You told me not to bring the scissors because you had your thing. You did two other scissors because I've got to bring a tool then too. Some yucky ones on there. No. Pull the yucky ones on there. The other ones didn't taste very good, so we're trying from over here. So the scissors would have been a better idea, Kev. <laughs> we're going to get some of these ones as well. Those ones over there were, were really nice and sweet, but squishy, which was surprising. But maybe they're just a soft grape. What did they taste like? Though? They didn't taste like. No, they were different, weren't they? A different type of grape, obviously, is what we're used yeah, to. Yeah, I think it must have obviously planted lots of different types of grapes. Here. Yeah. So we're going to get some of these ones too. <laughs> that will be nice. Yes. We don't see the mount the mountain from. Our room. Oh, look, the snowy one over there. So I'm guessing if they were here, we wouldn't be doing this. They wouldn't invite us to do this if they were in their house. They have a sticky beak. When you can't see, can you see? <laughs> can't really see. <laughs> Funny for someone in there, wouldn't it? I can't remember what we should get from the greenhouse, but there was something. Tomatoes. Warm, 
Yeah, oh, nice. So you want to get some others? Yeah, of course. So nice. around here, the, the vines now, obviously. We've got a veggie garden here as well. They've got another one we've got to find over the other side. We've got the raspberries. <laughs> Oh wow, well, yeah. All the good ones for the wine. Oh wow, look at they're very different grapes, aren't they? All like tight bunches like that for the grapes. I don't know if I've ever seen. I probably have, but not noticed how different they are. Because wondering how they picked them, thinking like they've got to pick off all the different grapes, but it's just a grapey bunch. Mm -hmm. Call them a wind, something that goes at night. It sounds like a helicopter. Probably would be. It makes a blade like a helicopter, isn't it? Yeah, we heard them during the night when it's a frost. They have them. I get. So, what do you blow the mist away? I guess. What does it do? I don't know what it does. So they have that as an option, and then if it's really um, frosty, then they do something else with water. I should have never done that. It was really noisy that one, apparently. They give you a free night accommodation if that one goes off. Some cherries. Better rock hard. A lot of cherries have grown in this area, but I didn't sort of pass cherry season. But obviously not, it's still some. But I don't see the veggie patch. <laughs> the far, far veggie patch has got the Easter, Easter raspberries. What do you think, way down there? Mm. I want to look down there in our, our little shed. Cherries. Found it. Well, Kevin found it. We were heading in the right direction. <laughs> and that looks like a veggie patch to me, a big one. Another found another device. So that might be the water one. I've never used that would make sense that would go out over all the grapes Kev to protect them from the frost only apparently at this time of year they need to use it like this morning
some out here. Ooh, I'm going to try one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can pick them. What are they? Easter ones. Mm. Tried one? No, I see. Oh, the raspberries are lovely. We just had a few while we're here because they're very small. They're going to get squished on the way back. But yeah, very, very tasty. And we've been wondering what this gunshot sound is we've been hearing. <laughs> just run off again. It's that green thing over there. How did you know? We're not. Well, I thought it vibrate just afterwards. Yeah, yeah Kevin thought it would just scare off birds, perhaps. It's very random. I did it a few times over at lunch, but most of the time it's just been random. But it went twice then. I'm pretty sure it was that thing. is just behind those trees what a lovely property I think I picked very well <laughs> that was that little thing that sounded like a gun that I'm pretty sure it's that green thing that was saw sausages and I'll say an onion, some potato rosti and some tomatoes from the garden that we picked today. So the sausages are okay? That's good. I've had that them here before in, in New Zealand so I yeah. thought that'd be alright. Have I had them or just you? No, just me I think. Mm -hmm. 